Wow. Okay. So now we have um, some audience questions and our audience members, we love you guys. You guys mm -hmm. ask some very brave questions. Um, and I know you guys like to DM me personally. So we do have one um, contributor of questions that um, is the voice. So he sends voice notes and he asks his questions in an audio form. This guy's a regular, eh? He oh my is. God. And I kind of want him is to be from that voice. Is, is this like a Toronto? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Toronto man's. Yeah. Oh, no one even asks. Like, I'm like born and raised Toronto. And very few people who I meet mm -hmm. in this city are like born and raised Toronto. I'm from Montreal. <laughs> oh, no. How about you? Toronto. Oh, thank God. Yeah. <laughs> The east side, though, not not the west end. Yeah. I was born, like, Jameson, and then I moved to Jane Finch, where I spent the most of my years. Strip. Yeah, yeah. Oh, my God. That was a, that was a fun. All right. Yeah. Bang, bang. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Not scared. <laughs> oh, which, actually, I, I just got my gun license and oh, nice. all that shit. And my parents were just like. I got a sound effect for you. Keep going. <laughs> yeah, so, yeah. And, and my parents were like, so we took you away from the hood? Yes. <laughs> Sorry, keep going. <laughs> yeah, yeah. My parents are just livid. They're uh, actually they're upset about that. They're 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 upset about guns. Hmm. Fair, it's, fair. It's exciting. Yeah, yeah. That's a real safety issue. <laughs> yeah, and I know. Trust me. We on on our network. We got a whole our other podcast. We talk about that type yeah. of stuff all. Yeah, the time. yeah, yeah, yeah. And 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 I think my parents like you know moving me to Jane Finch and a see and us seeing that kind of shit around us and my parents are like you just turn around and this is what you want and i'm yeah. like i'm gonna sure uh, I'm, I'm i'm gonna go turkey hunting and i'm gonna bring home a turkey next wow. year for thanksgiving turkey you no know, it, it adds an extra layer to even what you do now because you could have totally went down the wrong direction doing like getting into sex work coming from that area oh god Ooh. yeah yeah it's actually you know what so it's it's very funny when you think about that where it's like i it it really was like cards stacked against me growing up in like the hood mm -hmm. um the jane strip right? the uh, J like driftwood <laughs> like driftwood wow. <laughs> well there's a lot of successes that came out of the jane yeah. strip right? Shout out the press look up for a press interview uh, so, yeah. and uh, we love hip-hop uh, network so definitely check out that interview yeah the yeah voice, you got it yeah i got it um okay so i'm gonna turn it up just right into the top yeah do you hear his language behave Ready to stop. <laughs> Sailing. <laughs> okay. To a sexy gamer, Turn the phone what is up. the most outrageous request you ever got? I had to prepare the voice a little bit. Of, no, what was the going most, on? The most outrageous. Oh my god. Um. Okay. Okay. So. Okay. So here's the thing. If you spend enough time on certain websites there are certain people that like come up all the time there's this <laughs> guy on my free cams that is just into girls licking bars of soap but it has to be a specific gold irish spring bar oh wow so this dude <laughs> messages me That's and he's fish. like he's like i want you to like lather up and lick this bar of soap it has to be irish spring gold i'm like well i don't have irish <laughs> spring gold and the store is closed. And he tips me anyways. He tips me like wow. 50 bucks. And he's like, go buy the soap tomorrow and be <laughs> online. And I was like, okay. <laughs> lick a bar of soap. Yeah. And he's like, lather yourself up and then lick the bar of soap. He saw that in a music video somewhere, I'm sure. I don't know. But it's like one of those things where it's like, yeah, it's it's camming is not really for everybody. <laughs> Clearly. Well, no, I don't even think that shit's weird. Like, that's not even weird to me anymore. Bar, well, he wants you to be clean, right? You lick it clean. Mm, Literally. I don't know. Clean I don't your tongue. Oh, I can see where it comes from. Because I guess any woman in like sudy water, because like most women can be seen as sexy in like a bubble bath or doing something it, w it was not a sexy thing he he oh, i gosh. think he just wanted to see girls like wince eating like a bar of soap or maybe like his mom made him eat a bar of soap as a kid a lot of the fetishes like like stem from some dark places like let's just say that a lot of oh, unique fetishes okay yeah. you know what i do have a good story <laughs> <laughs> so I don't like I don't do dom stuff or a anything like that, but my friends do, mm -hmm. right? And uh, my girlfriend calls me. She's like, "Hey, um, 
one of the girls canceled. Do you want to come? Like, there's no sex. Like, it's it's fine. Like, I just I can't I can't touch a dude. And mm-hmm. she's like, yeah, we're just gonna kick him in the balls. Ball bashing. Oh yeah. Ball busting. A oh, ball busting. Yeah. Ball Sorry. busting. And I was like, okay, okay, that's fine. And um, <laughs> wow. I'm like, so what's the attire? What's the outfit? She's like, he wants like athletic type, so like yoga pants and crop tops. So I was like, okay, cool. Mm-hmm. So I arrive and. This what this dude has is Converse shoes, all in different colors and all in different sizes. And he wants to be kicked in the balls with Converse, Converse shoes. shoes specifically. Wow. <laughs> Not Jordans, but Converse shoes. Yes, but he also wants you to like make fun of him, like while you're kicking. Yeah. yeah. So while the you're like sexual humiliation, loser. Is a whole other category. Yeah. Da, 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 da. And uh, so you know, so we we all and he, this dude must have paid like what it was. Almost a thousand dollars. It's three hundred dollars for each girl. Wow! And we were doing it for maybe ha- half an hour, and I was like, "Holy shit!" Did so you have like a cover or something? No, we're just we're just <laughs> kicking him in the balls, oh, like stepping man. on his dick, and he like comes no problem. And um, <laughs> so we like so we so we finish up, and um, it's like, oh, it was, uh, and. He was actually thanking us, mm-hmm. and he's like, you, uh, "Usually, most girls stop to like check in to see if they're not hurting me, but you guys were just wailing on me and didn't no. even care, and that was so hot to me." That was the role play. <laughs> you got the instructions, and you yeah, fulfilled. Yeah, and, like, that's yeah, what it is. Well, yeah. We got safe words and yeah. all that jazz. So, <laughs> like I said, um, I don't do that. Yeah. My friends do, and they're like, "Oh, question, uh, question in there." Did you, did he have to use the safe word at any point in that? No, in that interaction? no, he took it like a trooper. Hardcore, hardcore. Yeah. And hardcore. usually with these like specific fetish requests, like there is like that person has no filter. It's just they want what they want, and you have to do what they want for them to get that. Full yeah, release. yeah, one hundred. Like there is no like shying out. Like, and that's what people have to understand in this world of fetish is that when somebody gets the momentum to even make a request, it comes from a deep place for them. It's it's. And, it's vulnerable, yeah. right? And like they're being open and honest and you better fulfill that desire exactly. and kick him in the balls. And that's why with BDSM, <laughs> it's about consent because you have to be, even if you're the, you know, ball bu- uh, buster. Ball buster? Dom? I don't know. Well, even if you're the person who's cre- like doing the action, like, like the request, you have to be very mature about the situation. You can't go there and laugh and say, are you dumb? Like, da, da, da. no, there's a maturity going into it that you are selected of the few in the world to do this great task for whatever time frame and you better do it well because yeah this person is well, counting he, on that. well he he's paying for that service exactly. right and you customer is your priority at that point right and uh, that customer service you're not there to judge or laugh no. you're there to you're hired to do a job so you do it um so so we did that that was great and uh just talking to my friend he he's a regular and comes into town here and there right. and i was like okay cool he must like works in business blah, blah blah and uh i volunteer somewhere yeah and there was a big expo that same weekend and it was at like this big convention hall and right um and i'm doing like this very professional presentation and <laughs> lo and behold who do i see is that client who is a rep who i have to do wow with. <laughs> and that was very funny because yeah very very wholesome shit right and it's a different personality too because when somebody allows themselves to be vulnerable to a fetish they're like a completely different person when it comes to other areas because they literally have to get into that mood yes exactly and that mode. well he 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 was a business dude and he yeah. just had to be like proper and and had to sell me his product and yeah. well, it's like sex i mean if you're having sex with your partner and you have sex and then you go back to maybe <laughs> you go with your family. own fucking thing <laughs> exactly so you just kind of like sweat it off or you just kind of like you know dust, mm. off, dust it off your shoulder and you're just you know whatever because for those of us that are in you know bdsm or that are in that industry it's like certain things like this is really nothing new it's just now to convey it to you know viewers and people that like yeah there are some things that you might think are bizarre but everybody has a place for where they come from with their fixations and fascinations there's a it's not for everybody to understand you might not know where no exactly from. and 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 i was just going to say it's like i don't get it right i don't get it but i'm 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 going to do what i can in my power during that time to like make that person's exactly. dream come true because fetishes are about understanding it's not about like really wondering why it's just because 
it is what it is. Indulge. I just want you to bust, you might bust my balls. <laughs> Indulge. It's not us to, you know, be a psychology expert and be like, hmm, I wonder if you got, you know, beat up as a kid and then the person worked chucks or whatever. Honestly, like, I really did want to ask him and be like, <laughs> so ruined. what traumatic <laughs> event? And it was. And this? Yeah, it's just interesting. You, he, he, he probably got beat up by like a group of high school girls. Or it something. could have been a girl with some very <laughs> sexy shoes and he just, yeah. well, maybe not even sexy, it was just shoes. And then it's like his whole life he was like, Converse, 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 converse. <laughs> and then it became like triggers everywhere. And then it's like, I want girls to do this to me. Because maybe he got off on it. And that was the weird fascination for him. That he wanted to relive that. I think he like commented that like, yeah, a girl spat on him once. And that was yeah. like the best moment of his life. And he's like, spit on me. And I'm like, okay. Yeah, there's fetishes that can be in like very, very extreme stories. But uh, yeah, it's not for everybody. So we're not just going to share. You know, we don't kiss and tell unless we have to. DM me. <laughs> yes. Okay. Sign so. up to my OnlyFans. That's <laughs> that's where all those juicies. Actually, a part of it is too. It's actually um, one of the things that generates me the most, like likes and comments, are more of Story my stories. Time. Yes. Right. Like Hence sailing. Right, yeah. Right. It's like okay, whatever. Like new, new, new. Like, like, like. Oh my god, this story was so amazing. Yeah. Can you write more? Yeah. Because it's a fetish in itself. A lot of people are curious, and it's like they don't know sometimes to come forward to people they do know because this type of stuff isn't exposed to the average person. I just feel that if somebody is specifically paying for my nudes, it's like my nudes are are are, are spectacular, but they're not like <laughs> that. Where it's it's they want more, and I. And I I want to give that, and I think that's why I do so well. Is 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 I want to give more of myself out there. Mm -hmm. You're willing. I'm 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 willing, and I am shameless. Mm -hmm. And I have. You're so <laughs> over it. I think. I think that's the best way to look at. It. You're so over it. That stigma that I just I I own it. I I'm here. <laughs> you know what? Like I went to an all girls Catholic high school. Mm -hmm. Which was super supportive. Oh, super, I know, Girl, right? It's crazy. It's you crazy. Grow up? Because like, it's crazy. <laughs> it's getting the most love from your angle. <laughs> it's it's it's. I went to high school with uh, actually probably eighty percent black women. Mm -hmm. So supportive, extremely supportive, non judgmental. Like whatever you want to ride a dick on weekends, like that's fine, girl. Oh wow! Well. <laughs> and it's it's actually so funny because the valedictorian of my year, mm -hmm. like top grades, top athlete, she ended up becoming a escort. Oh wow! Well. Yeah, and and she was like the one of the smartest girls I've ever met. And it's like she just proved well, herself even smarter to me. <laughs> She just went at it the right way. <laughs> it was in her blood. Wow. That's interesting. And and you and and I know guys will like listen and be like, oh, girls get shit for free and blah blah blah. I'm oh, gonna come turn on. this around and I'm gonna tell you something. So my friend has a uh clothing line, assholes live forever is this clothing line. And I'm like, you you know what? I am gonna turn the tables. I'm gonna be a sugar mama. Post me your wish list and I will get like the hottest guy something. Right. So all these dudes were just like, oh, yeah, like buy me something, baby. These dudes look like they haven't showered in two months and they're asking wow. for free shit. The audacity. And you said the hottest pick. So that was their hottest. Pick. Exactly. And that's what I'm saying. Wow. Right. And it and, and I, I think in the end, it took me for like three hours until I saw someone hot. And I was like, OK, <laughs> bought your wish list. And oh, my gosh, and it's, three hours. And, 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 and that's the thing. Like the the window was open and I'm like willing to buy dudes they couldn't put Shit. their best foot forward. But like Shit. all you had to do was clean up and they couldn't even do that. They didn't know how. And, and, wow. and, 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 and this, is, this is the reality, <laughs> though, because put them in real life. Why you can't get a girl or why you struggle in certain situations. That's your best. That's your best. And that's it. But guys will 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 be like, oh, like you just get shit for free and blah, blah, blah. Be like, yes, I do get shit for free. Now it's your turn. But guess no, what? but you but you know what? Like the time that I spend working on myself. Like, there is a reason I fuck with people in a higher tax right, bracket, right? Yeah. right? It's I've, I've worked myself mentally to be there, mm -hmm. right? And it, it's, it's these dudes who, who, who get upset. It's like, you know what? Then open up a fucking OnlyFans. What's stopping you? <laughs> Clean up a bit, though. Clean right? up a bit. Or there might be a woman with a fetish for, you know, the dirty guy. There's a fetish for everything. 
Dude, I I never understand like these gorgeous women with like these dusty looking tubes. If you like Opposites the dick game, the dick game though. can't be that fire. Like <laughs> maybe it's personality because for some women they want somebody to like level them. And I've seen it many times where you'll see somebody bodacious or whatever and they're like a 10 out of 10 or more, like a 12 out of 10. And then they have somebody who humbles them. And sometimes that's natural because sometimes when you have two people that are very attractive or too sexy, it's like you're hoping for the downfall or, you know, you just think that automatically, okay, but they I must think, be cheating. But I think that's it. It's it's do these gorgeous people pick like male partners because they know like that male par- that partner is always going to be there. And it's unpredictable because, again, as we were talking about who, Sweetie and uh, Quavo, I don't know. Well, he's oh, oh yeah are they not still? confirmed not confirmed I, I did my googles i didn't see anything okay about okay <laughs> okay okay still good still good but there are a couple okay, who just broke up recently that we were all shocked about friday which hollywood couple just broke up and then everybody was shocked mm. that was two sexy people <laughs> i don't know okay how about we talk about jada pinkett smith and will smith oh with their Polly. entanglement hold on before we, do you have any more other questions there uh, there's a few. I was just kind of going. I mean, to um, from the, the the guests' questions. The uh, there's a few. Yeah, get to another yeah. audience question. Oh, sorry. Fuck, fuck those Jada people. Scott, I don't talk about entanglements. Um, <laughs> that's 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 like eight months ago. Fuck them. Okay. Yeah, they live in life now. They're good. They're yeah, good. they are. They're rich. Um, is twenty minutes too long? <sighs> oh, fuck. Depends on who's counting. It is. I mean, like uh, sometimes twenty minutes feels like 40 and it's like was it a good 40 minutes or was it a bad 40 minutes right it's it 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 fucking varies sometimes yeah. like i want it done in under seven minutes and sometimes i'm getting fucked and i'll be like oh i wish you went longer and he'll just be like bitch i was going for an hour and i was like wow <laughs> right so yeah okay um how about I, you yeah why <laughs> um i oh my gosh if it's an intimate partner and this person tends to like cause that rise out of me, then I'll be at that extreme peak and I will just enjoy a good five minutes, eight minutes, whatever. Like I don't really put a time I put on like when I can release as well, like when it's that good. But I mean, <laughs> I have had a few moments that I wasn't watching the clock or thinking about it because I was in an orgasmic spell. Okay. And it was just like, I was wondering when they were maybe going to stop. Like, that was the only thing that I was worrying about. Like, <laughs> when they were going to stop because it's like a spell. I'm just like, going, like, going, 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 coming, coming, coming. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> I'm sorry, I just need some energy. But yeah, like, that's that can happen. And I mean, like, when that happens, you're not watching clocks. So no, 20 minutes can be very satisfying once you're not thinking about it. I think 20, uh, yeah, again, you're, like, if there's you're so many clock, about Then it. you're like, literally, okay, one minute, five minutes, you're looking up. But if you're in, like, in that mood and you're, 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 in, you're having sex, you're not thinking about sex, you're having it. Basically, if I'm like, oh, please come, like, I'll come for me. It's like, get the job done. <laughs> <laughs> it's mood. I think it's mood. Because sometimes you want to just get something quick and you're so excited that the slightest touch will kind of set you off. And then you set off enough, you're kind of like drained. I mean, are we counting foreplay? That's that's no. that's so, so, getting yes. into it. Cause so just the penetration part. You're talking about twenty minutes. Okay. <laughs> well, well, this was no, from no, a, I'm, 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 this is from a guy's perspective. So I guess um, is twenty minutes too long? Meaning that like a lot of guys. Again, in the last episode, we spoke about it with not last, but the one before, where I was talking about um, guys in certain positions getting worn out because if you're doing a back shot, that's fucking a lot of work. Like for a man to just visualize, it, it, it depends. I mean, some people are really not comfortable based on the type of positioning that's being requested of them for 20 minutes. If you want a guy to fuck you in the air, like, I, I don't know. Yeah. It, it, 20 it, minutes? It, it, it fucking varies. <laughs> like, 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 it fucking varies. Yeah. And I, I don't think there is an answer to that for sure. Especially if the pleasure is so good, you shouldn't put a time on it. You mm-hmm. should just do it when you guys either feel collapsed or he's at you come enough or, you know, he, whatever the case is. I don't think a clock should really be tied to it unless you're really trying to clock somebody for it. Yeah. Unless you're trying to be clocked. Because <laughs> sometimes you like, I only have 20 minutes to work with, you know, like, and then it's like, okay, that. But if you're not timing yourself, then I think it's safe to have any amount of time based on the actual level of pleasure. I think whoever asked that question was more asking, you know, is it, 
is is the girl bored like Ooh. after like 20 minutes of like getting pounded whatever or maybe can y'all come within 20 minutes I mean, ideally, I'll come in five if the job's done right, right? Yeah. Like, <laughs> but I'm also talking about episodes because I was referring to like even like oh, a, multiple times. Yeah, like multiple going, orgasms. Because yeah, yeah. like when that starts happening, there's no fucking anything else that exists. It's like your body is just compelled to just do it and do it until that collapse. So you're more focusing on how many times you're coming versus like how long yeah. it, you're actually whatever. So yeah, that's it's a I guess it's a philosophical question. Because there's so many perspectives on how you can look at it. Mm -hmm. um, next is, is it wrong to be a simp? Mm. Explain simp first, but for the... I want your definition. The, my definition? <laughs> <laughs> a simp. What is a dude that's a simp? First, I don't know why I find that so funny. <laughs> um, second, a simp, I guess from the definition that I would know... The street one. Yeah, let's get it. <sighs> A guy who is getting played, he's giving a girl all his money, but he doesn't realize that she's got like five other guys he's doing this with, but he thinks he's the only one, right? It's like the opposite of a pimp. He's yeah, a simp. if you're getting played, right? Yeah. Yeah, because well, the, yeah. the pimp is supposed to be, quote unquote, a positive thing. You're getting all the money. To guys? Yeah. Or... Like in 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 yeah, do you, do in you know what a pimp is? I do. <laughs> but, yeah. but he's saying a comp because some women okay. Pimps are glorified, right? Okay. Yeah. So the pimp is the guy who's getting all the money, and the simp is the guy who's giving all the money. Mm. Isn't that a trick? Well, well, that's exactly it. That's the, exactly the, it. That's exactly it. So some people or simp a more positive no, connotation a trick, of a it. Trick, I think is more in on it. The simp is more of a sucker. Oh, the one that loses. Like out. the trick is like. He knows he's paying for a service. Yeah, the I don't... The simp is more of a sucker. He doesn't know he's getting suckered out of his money. He's just a good guy. And that's yeah, just so, believing in the good of the situation. So I have I I have actually had situations where like, you know, like my highest tipper is obviously getting so caught up in his own feelings where it's like I have to make that choice of I have to cut this person off because they're mm. financially putting themselves in danger for me. Okay. Right? And like I assure you a, a lot of girls would never do that. Right? But for you me You have a conscience. I don't, I don't, karma has been so good to me. Karma has been mm. so good to me. I'm not going to fuck her now. Like, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, um, but my understanding of simp, there was an actual situation on Instagram not too long ago with a guy and a girl. I think we talked about this in the last, last episode where he was wearing all the gear that his girl bought him. And then he went out on a date with another girl. Oh, and, then the and she had to the shopping bags. Oh, yeah. and, oh, and then he had to take yeah, off his belt yeah, and yeah. take off everything she bought. And some of the commentary was, she I think the commentary on the video was about like, um, don't be a simp or something like that. Because he ended up losing out because of trying to be, a, I guess. A simp for the other girl? Oh, yeah, that's it's a tough weird. one. The, the simp was a part of that, like in the header. So that's what I was wondering. Honestly, I just, I just don't believe in like being played by other people. Like period. Like that period. That's it. Girl or guy. Just be straight up. Just just be straight up. And like, honestly, sometimes like I I have been somebody who like I like spending money on on my dates. Does that mm. make me a simp? No. It, but to, to some people, um, it would, though. To some people, it would. Also, let me throw in there. Simple pimp. <laughs> oh, OK. Like you think you're a pimp, but you're really just getting some clothes. And no, shit. no, I don't think that's it. Maybe I I'm wrong. no simp is more like a person who's just like infatuated with this whatever. They have a good heart. They want to yeah, do it, but they heart. don't have the. There's no I, I reciprocation. Yeah, no yeah. Can you roll one? <laughs> <laughs> you want me to roll you one? Yeah, I have some too. But I, know, can I, you got roll you, I got you. Oh, she I needs a tray you. then. I guess I can't roll. Oh, okay. I can't I roll you. for shit. Like get the pre rolls. I, I, you know what you I actually down. I actually just like go home and I ask like my dad or my brother to just roll me stuff oh my gosh she's yeah. such a great family oh my god I swear dude my <laughs> they roll for her. my dad oh my, my dad was so upset when he found out I was buying from like dispensaries he's like you could just come home and like get some of my weed and blah, oh my blah. god yeah no my dad grows and like he no, my dad's my dad's hood. My dad's hood. Oh, my wow. my dad fit in. in the James Finch. Stuck in yeah, it. yeah. My dad, <laughs> yo. To this day, we've moved out of Jaden Finch. It like for all. Oh, for 20 years almost <laughs> and sometimes i still find myself ubering my dad home from shoreham drive and i'm like who 
what the <laughs> fuck are you doing? <laughs> Who do you know over there? What are you, what are you doing? <laughs> no, wow. Yeah, the simp one. I guess there's like again, there's multiple definitions or perspectives, but um, just, yeah, that's an interesting just, one. Just don't get played. Just don't get played. Hmm. Okay. You know what though? I'm 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 somebody who very much like I do not wear my heart on my sleeve. I'm very much like I'm not giving someone my emotional affection like at all. <laughs> at all. Yeah, everybody's built different. Some people again again, I think with this individual, they might just be a really good person and want to do things, but not like maybe I, compelled enough to do it and I, then I guess they, they're, they're indifferent to the consequences. But, it's, but it's, it's also like, what is his intention? Like, why are you giving this girl everything? Like, what do you want from it? Or it could be his thoughts of wanting to be that guy for the girl, but maybe he just can't connect with the girl properly. Or she could just be using him because some women are fucking bitches. <laughs> <laughs> it could be many things. So um, <laughs> on this one, it's, it's just take our perspectives. It's an open-minded question. Um, okay. So women holding down the household. What about it? <laughs> what are your thoughts? Like um, in a relationship, I guess. We uh, kind of touched a little bit on it, but we're talking about like a household. Where let's just say. In like, in like financially, yeah. like holding down the, well, like I got to ask, like, what the fuck is he doing? <laughs> like. Are your views like, you, do you believe chauvinistically like a man should be holding down the household? And because in your case, you would be holding down the household. Uh, I, I actually hope to like. Uh, retire from all this work and have like a normal desk job and do all normal shit. I I, I actually want to go into accounting for sex workers. Oh, so I okay. still want to do something in the field, but in that I can more a more laid back approach, not as aggressive. I definitely want to be in sex work always, mm -hmm. but in a different way. And I feel like I have so much knowledge financially about everything where. You know, it's it's something that will keep me in the industry, but allow yeah. me to grow. Be as an a, advocate in different ways. Yeah, exactly, yeah. exactly. So girls, you can DM her too. Don't be scared. <laughs> I like this. <laughs> okay. So um, this was a discussion I had actually yesterday. Um, some questions were thrown out and I felt like this was kind of interesting. If someone is gay, can they live with a straight roommate comfortably? yes like wait but i have Different i have yeah i have no idea what any of those things have to do with each other right like like what there like, are some very close-minded people out there still so and, it's like these are still actually some but like yeah close-minded but it's like but then you gotta ask like like do you think you're so hot like is <laughs> like because i assure you <laughs> And that's another thing. I like that point because some people feel that because some people are gay or lesbian that because they represent that same sex that they're automatically going to be that go-to for that person. And I mean, you brought up a good point. It's not always the case. You might not be their cup of tea. <laughs> uh, again, like it's it, it's the fucking audacity of people that just like blows my mind. It's like it it's it, half the time it's like don't talk to my man. It's like, girl, I'm trying to talk to you. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's an interesting one. Um, so we're going to take a little break and uh, we'll come back and um, I'll ask you some questions. Sounds good.